In a word, he's consistent. Hone Harawera has protested on the streets and inside Parliament. He was arrested as a young man and years later as a sitting MP, but since the election he's been quiet. He's just arrived home from Ahui in South Africa, so soon I'll be catching up with the Mana Movement leader. But first, here's a peek at his colourful political past. Doing things the polite way gets you ignored. That's always been the situation. We want people to sit up and take notice, kick them in the ass, basically. I can remember when I was a young, hot head, never listened to my Komata swear them as they got in my way. Hone Harawira's path in politics was neither quiet or simple. I just wish some of the brothers had the balls to do something. A champion of Māori sovereignty, it wasn't surprising that he joined Tariana Turi as Māori Party, entering Parliament as the member for Te Tai Tukero in 2005. I have hope for the next generation where I hear our young people at Manu Kōrero say, that if Hone Harawira can get there, then I can get there too. But for his parliamentary colleagues, Hone wasn't an easy man to rein in. John Howard is a racist bastard. We don't attack people, we attack policies. I, I've apologised to the Māori Party, but I certainly won't be apologising to John Howard. This is what he wrote on his Facebook page. It looks like these dickheads only have expulsion on their mind. I didn't call my fellow MPs dickheads. In three parliamentary terms, he actively pushed for smoke-free legislation, the retention of state housing, and introduced his own Feed the Kids bill. And his popularity within Te Tai Tukero remains solid. People in the land of milk and honey are starving. Somebody's got to change that. It's not going to be national, and it sure don't look like it's going to be Labour. Until this year, when he chose an unpredictable alliance, once again flying in the face of convention ultimately conceding his seat to Labour's Calvin Davis, leaving Parliament with his most loyal supporter and wife at his side yes. and vowing to return in 2017.